Hey guys, welcome back to another LG Turbo Wash front load washer full cycle video. Today we're going to be doing the white cycle or the uh, bright white cycle, and our load today consists of just some cleaning rags and kitchen towels, uh, white items. So figured it was it would be uh, a good use of this cycle. Then they also are kind of stained, obviously, from being cleaning rags and whatnot. So. Hopefully the bright white cycle will help get rid of some of those stains too. Uh, I put some baking soda in there like I usually do. You might kind of see it on the bottom over there. Um, and I'm also going to try out something new today. I'm trying out using the ring light uh, as my source of light. So hopefully that'll make it look nice. I mean, it's really bright. So hopefully that'll uh, help things out. So usual deal in here, detergent on the left, white distilled vinegar softener on the right. So let's get started. Okay, I guess it wants me to do a tub clean after this. That's fine. I was actually planning on doing that anyway. Um, so we're going to go to bright whites. Turbo wash is automatically selected. And let's get started. As you see, we're going to be doing hot water, high spin speed, and normal soil. Now let me just get this in the right position here. So we get the best lighting. Hopefully, since this is a bright load, it'll... Uh, be easy for you guys to see as well, but we'll uh, take it as we go along, I suppose. <clears throat> Looks like I'm leaning a bit to the a bit to the right here, so let me just adjust that. Thirty-eight minutes. Wow. I gotta admit, I'm quite impressed by that. I totally thought this was gonna be this was gonna be much longer. Um, I looked on LG's website because uh, you can look up like the approximate cycle times and whatnot for specific cycles, and they said that this cycle was roughly seventy-five minutes on their front loaders. But then again, this is also a rather small load. Well, that's neat. This was a viewer requested video. I believe this was actually the first request I received um, when I was asking for requests on the uh, So Long Flex Wash video. Okay, so it looks like there's the same ordeal where at the start we do the stepping motion. Now we're probably going to go on to scrub. Yep. And next up is filtration. Called it. Let's start seeing some more turbo wash, maybe. There we go. Now we're getting full power turbo wash here on all four angles. This is looking good. Now, unfortunately, I believe we are going to start steaming up a bit, um, but that is because we are doing hot water. So that is going to make things a bit harder to see. So I do apologize for that. Um, let me see if maybe raising the camera a bit might help. It may or may not, I don't know. The thing is, I got a very delicate balance here going on with the ring light and the camera stand here. Balancing on one of the hampers um, that comes with the pedestals. And these hampers are not the most, like, secure things in the world, so, you know. Definitely are running a risk doing that. I already had my phone fall once while doing the heavy duty cycle. Um, which, by the way, if you haven't seen that video yet, you can check it out on the Washers video playlist. Um, and I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description and in the um, end screen as well. While we're still somewhat visible, there's an idea of what the water level is looking like. There's not a whole ton of water in this, ci um, in this cycle. So it seems... 
I'm surprised we're not seeing more Turbo Wash though. But then again, it might just be waiting till uh, a little later on, because I think it does do that where like it does some tumbles at the um, at the start without Turbo Wash. It might also not be done filling yet. But, I mean, as you guys saw, Turbo Wash up, uh, was on, so that option is equipped. I believe that was also one of the things that the person who requested this video um, mentioned was they wanted to see it with Turbo Wash. So, hopefully, we'll see more of that. Yeah, I was right. It's not done filling yet. Turbo Wash might help with clearing off the steam. Or maybe not, actually. It seems like we're actually clearing it off pretty well by just having it sort of condensate there. Okay, so now we're doing the roll motion. That's interesting. So we're doing more than just a tumble. So it looks like it started off as a roll and then sped up into a tumble. And now we're going into a filtration. That's pretty neat. I don't think it's done this in any of the other cycles that I've recorded yet. It may have done it on the normal cycle, but I honestly don't remember because it's been a while since I've recorded that video. Um, and I kind of doubt that that's the case too. Okay, so now we're, now we're getting some turbo wash. As you can see, we got the turbo wash nozzles on the bond going. Doesn't look like the ones on the top are going um, at the moment, but hopefully that'll change in a bit. That was some very short-lived turbo wash. Hopefully we'll get to see some more of that soon. Um, doing the same thing again, where we're going into a roll I'm gonna go into a tumble and then filtration. You know, I wonder if for filtration, how much of the water actually comes up when the when the clothes are not at the very bottom of the drum because there's not a lot of water in there. So, like there can't be that much that's like really, that, that's like going up. Most of it's probably just sitting in the reservoir at the bottom, but not sure. Yeah, this is a very small amount of water. This almost seems like the white cycle is basically just the normal cycle, but with hot water as the default temperature and a slightly longer wash time. Because this was what, 38 minutes? With a load this size, the normal cycle would probably be about 29 minutes. So it's about a nine minute increase in wash time. Uh, with this size load anyway. Whoa, we're already using the atomizing sprayer? Are we really entering the rinse, like, soon? That's a bit odd. Because we have 32 minutes left on the cycle, according to the wash timer. We had um, all four turbo wash nozzles going there, too. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I noticed it last second. I'm kind of happy to see that we're not getting as many suds um, here because I thought at first that I that I might have put a little too much detergent, but I don't uh, I don't think that ended up being the case. I mean, as you can see, the water level is still just right there. You know, guys, I have to admit, I think the ring light is actually working out quite well for the lighting. I mean, you guys tell me. 
You know what? I think the overhead lighting might actually be uh, kind of affecting this. Let me see if I can turn that off without knocking anything over. Is that a better view? It might be. I mean, now there's like no glare of anything in the background, so it's like, it's purely the washer itself. I think this might be the direction that I go with this for a while. Um, if you guys could just let me know what you think um, about the sliding in the comments, that'd be great. Okay, so we are getting um, all four turbo wash nozzles, it seems, at the same time. It's just really hard to see those top ones sometimes. I mean, especially because of the um, the fogging up that was there before, but I have a feeling that it's, that it, it's, they've all been going. I mean, you guys can kind of see, like, with the crisscross on the top middle there, that, that's both turbo wash nozzles going. We have, <coughs> excuse me, we have half an hour remaining on the site. Usually, the white cycle on every other washing machine I've ever come across has been significantly longer than the normal cycle. Not as long as the heavy duty cycle, but still longer than the normal cycle to a greater degree than this one is. Like this is less than 10 minutes long. Um, of course, comparing this load size. Now, load sizes obviously vary with LG washers and there's no guarantee of what your time will be. Um, but for example, with the flex wash, the white cycle on default, I believe, was an hour and three minutes in length, uh, whereas the normal cycle was 45 minutes in length, so that right there is 22 minutes. I hope I did my math right there. I'm pretty sure I did. 22-minute um, difference. And then heavy duty was an hour and 21 minutes, so almost a 40-minute difference from normal to heavy duty, and whites kind of was in the middle there with about 20 minutes uh, more than normal, but less than heavy duty. Um, same thing with the uh, Kenmore Elite HE4T. Um, normal cycle 45 minutes again. Uh, the whitest white cycle, if memory is serving me right, was either an hour and 15 minutes or an hour and 25 minutes. Um, and then the heavy duty cycle was an hour and 50 with stain treat equipped. If you unequipped stain treat, then the heavy duty cycle would be just an hour long, in which case it would actually be shorter than the, um, than the white, than the whitest white cycle. So that's actually an example of the whitest white cycle being longer than the heavy duty cycle. Okay, something I'm just noticing here. I wonder if you guys can see that. On the bottom of the turbo wash nozzle, the drum line is interrupting the flow. So it's like diverting the water like down and to the right. Pay attention to it next time it comes up. That's actually pretty cool. I'm pretty sure that was uh, the way that the drum was designed was intentional with that in mind because obviously the nozzles are very close to the drum, but I mean, yeah, that looks like it's interrupting the flow there, but it's just like diverting it. So, good engineer, or neat engineering on uh, LG's part there. But yeah, going back to the cycle times with the white cycle uh, versus the others, even on the HE4T, 45 minutes to, even if it was an hour and 15, that's a 20 minute dip. No, that's a 30 minute difference right there. So it was at least a 30 minute difference, maybe even a 40 minute difference um, between the normal and heavy duty cycles. Now I wonder how that would differ if turbo wash was not equipped. Now. I don't know if this is one of those cycles where you can unequip turbo wash. I've never tried. Um, maybe if I remember to do that 
I'll try it at the end of this video just to see if you can turn it off. Um, but I know on the normal cycle you can't. I initially thought you could, because usually that's kind of how options work, is that even if they're on by default, usually you can turn them off. Um, but that wasn't the case with this. And you know what? I gotta admit, I'm kind of glad that they did that, because I do remember seeing uh, reviews of LG washers from the past. Uh, specifically, the mega capacity front load washer was a video, I forgot what the channel was, um, but it was posted I think like 9 or 10 years ago. We getting ready to drain here? Usually when it shakes like that, it's getting ready to drain. But anyway, back to what I was saying, I just realized I went very, very off track. Um, my point in bringing up the old LG washer was to bring up the point that at that point, turbo wash was not, in, uh, was not an automatically selected option for cycles like the normal cycle. Um, you had to manually select it. And I remember the reviewer uh, for the video that I was talking about, I really hope I can find it. Um, and I'll, I'll probably try linking that in the description and at the end screen get, um, as well. But, what's it called? I remember the reviewer was saying he was conf like he, he didn't think it made sense why you wouldn't want to have the turbo wash option on because who wouldn't want to better clean in less time? And he's totally right. Uh, by the way, we are draining for the rinse and with 22 minutes remaining on the cycle. So that was a 16 minute wash. Not bad. That's a very respectable wash time. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad that it's at least default now um, because I'm sure LG realized the same thing. Like, why would we even, why would we encourage them not to, um, or why not encourage them to use the turbo wash? I mean, after all, I think that's a pretty major selling point of LG washers these days is the fact that turbo wash is a thing. Um, so, yeah. Let's see, how many times do you think it's going to take for us to balance for the intermediate spin? And I'm not counting these little, like, one-step tumbles here. I'm talking about we actually, like, spin up and, it, like, attempts to, like, speed up after doing, like, a bit of filtration to get the water, like, wrung out, like, the bulk of the water run out. Um, and, yeah, like, I mean, some people may argue that that, what it just did there counts too, but I would say this is its first attempt so far. And something tells me that it's not going to end up doing this attempt. Because that's wobbling quite a bit. Okay, yeah, so I was right. It, it didn't even try to speed up. So let's see if we'll have any better luck this time. Looks like it's going to try going counterclockwise. It may have been successful. Oh, well, that kind of... That kind of fills me with a little doubt. I guess we're going for it. Okay. I guess we're going for it. I mean, it balanced itself out, so... All is well that ends well, am I right? You know, I'm kind of curious to know, do European LG washers, are they as picky as the American ones are in terms of balancing for spins? Because, I mean, you see those videos of, like, European washers just, like, going with the flow, even if they end up jumping around, they'll still, like, they'll still end up going with it. And I... 
don't think I've ever seen a European LG washer do that. Usually it's like the, um, like the older brands, it seems, and the older machines, so let me know if that's something new as well. Because I admittedly have not watched any videos of new European machines. We had a little bit of spray rinse just a minute ago, so that was nice. Greatly appreciate a good spray rinse. Okay, we're done with the intermediate spin, 20 minutes left. Now are we gonna fill with the atomizing sprayer, hopefully? It will forever be hilarious to me how, or why the LG, or why the drain pump revs like that. Wow, already have enough water for turbo wash? Oh, barely. <laughs> so the atomizing sprayer was doing pretty, uh, pretty well there. Got some more water for turbo wash now. The pressure of the nozzle is increased. While the atomizing sprayer is was struggling, but then it uh, fixed itself. Looks like we got all the clothes off of the, or all of the rags, I guess, off of the side of the drum there. Looks like we still only have enough water for the bottom two turbo wash nozzles. But the top ones are trying. Still don't think we have quite enough water for them yet. But this rinse certainly resembles that of the, um, that of the normal cycle. So I would not be surprised if this is sort of a carbon copy of that. Oh, okay. Turbo wash nozzle pressure increased rapidly. As you can see here, we are getting tons of spraying going on from all four corners of this round drum. Let's see, whenever it stops, Let's see if I can get a good shot like I uh, just saw of the sprayers just spraying directly onto the clothes. There we go. That's kind of what I'm talking about there. I think that might be the thumbnail shot. I think that should be the thumbnail shot. Although, of course, me in the future when I'm editing this will decide for certain, but something to consider. Okay, so at this point, we have 17 minutes remaining on the cycle. Something tells me we're, we're gonna end up being a little bit longer than a normal cycle. Now that is an amazing amount of water. When it stops again, I'm gonna show you guys. That was, we are like really filling up here. I am thoroughly impressed. Well, the turbo wash is on, so it's not giving you guys a very accurate depiction, but as you can see, that is still way more water. With a turbo wash on, all four nozzles running at their, like, maximum pressure right now, there was still that much water in the tub. Uh, way more than we even had with the wash stage. <laughs> Thud that happens with every single tumble. It's, it's, it's shocking, to say the very least. And it looks like we got the max pressure turbo wash on the entire time, too. Like, again, I am thoroughly impressed.
All right, with 12 minutes remaining, we are draining for the final spin. Still a bit, a little sudsy there, but it seems like it's just on the surface. And I'm sure that that's not all detergent uh, suds there either. I'm sure part of it is also just air bubbles that are accumulating. Hopefully we'll still get some spray rinse during the final spin though, just for some extra thorough rinsing. You can never have enough spray rinse. I mean, that was a great display of a bunch of spraying right there. And I mean, I suppose we could say that is a spray rinse. Although what I usually consider a spray rinse is like when it's spinning. When it's spinning like this or faster, and then you get the spray nozzles. Doesn't necessarily need to be the atomizing sprayer, but that's like a guaranteed spray rinse right there is if the atomizing sprayer is on. I'm trying to figure out a way that I can sort of like predict when or when it's not gonna work, when it's like not blatantly obvious, like, like that. Like, I mean, if it's spun up like this, like I have a feeling it's gonna do this one. In which case, I think this would be the first cycle I've ever seen where it does both spins in the counterclockwise direction as opposed to the clockwise, which is the one that it prefers. Looks like we're going through with it. Okay. So, took us two attempts for the intermediate spin, four attempts for the final spin. And as of right now, we have 10 minutes remaining. We are still on track to be done faster than the normal cycle. That is a bit insane. Although to be fair, I think that the normal cycle was not the 29 minute cycle. I think that ended up sensing at 41 minutes. So the cycle time would have been less anyway, but still. And for this one, we are going to be going at the high spin speed. Looks like we're just like ever so slowly speeding up. Okay, and now we're definitely revving up. There's a spray rinse. Smosher has a habit of only doing one spray rinse during the final spin, so I have a feeling that's going to be the only one that we're going to see. Which is a bit unfortunate. The Flex Wash tended to do at least two spray rinses per final spin, but you know what? Its, rinses, its actual rinse stage cannot hold a candle to what we saw demonstrated by this washer today. Okay, this has got to be the max speed. You get a slightly better view from this angle, although now you can sort of see the now you can definitely see the ring light. Okay, yeah, now that's fogging up too. So. Your view is still going to be the best. Because that's where the light's also most evenly distributed. At the angle that I showed you guys just a second ago, which is essentially what I'm seeing, it's getting darker now, so it's harder to see what's going on. Tumbles at the end? Yep. Very nice.
Doesn't look like they're doing anything though. <laughs> well guys, there you have it. The bright white cycle on an LG Turbo Wash front load washer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, stay cool everybody.